Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk how we can print all our drawing sheets. It's not problem to print everything from the Revit, but it's problem when you have the different sizes of the, your drawing sheets. And more, when you have a lot of drawing, your drawings. So once you should want print, for example, like 100 different views uh, from your Revit, how you will do that. And all of these 100 views is different size. Uh, nowadays I'm using the one solution and I will show you what I'm using and how it's working. So let's get started. Let me I'll show you the result before I'll start to show how it works. For example, here I have, uh, as you can see, here I have the my projects, here I have the different views. All these views have different size of the uh, sheets, drawing sheets. Uh, for example, here it's A1, here it's the A2, and that's all different one. So uh, here is already the result. As you can see, this is my PDF file, and all PDF file I have merged. As you can see, even the A3 size with the some some the renderings I have here, and all of that looks really awesome. If you will see, for example, like a wide ID, like let's say this one and that one, you never will see this is paper is different. As you can see here is some different size of the paper but it's not a problem for me because I can print it just one by one click and I'll show you what how you can do that also like a bonus you can print also 3d views for example real career client doesn't have any mm, like uh, viewers like Revit viewers or something else and your client wanna see your 3d model so you can send him uh, like PDF with your 2D modeling. Yes, this is possible. You can make some special view and send to your client. So it's also you will able to do with the this add-ins. The name of tool. This is review from the Bluebeam. I think most of the you know who is the Bluebeam. Bluebeam, but doesn't matter who is them. They give you access to the review, and review will give you really a lot of the things uh, it's not only uh, how to print for example from the revit and no this is platform actually will give you more possibilities but today we will talk only about the print from the review so go to bluebeam.com get this uh, add-in and install it to the revit that's it and after that you will able to use it if you want the link to this program you will find below this video Once you will install the program, when you will uh, go to inside to your Revit, you will get under the add-ins three new icons. So this is actually our program Bluebeam. Uh, actually here doesn't match the settings, but we will see what the type of the settings we have for PDF, because this is topic only for PDF. So let's go to the uh, change the settings and here you will find this, uh, this window with some uh, settings. So actually uh, what I'm using actually here, I'm using the selected views and sheets. Uh, under the select views you will get the pretty same uh, window like in uh, vanilla Revit, so like in the Revit. Here just you will choose some of the um, views or sheets which you want to print. For example, you're always printing uh, one type of the sheets, you can save it, let's save it, like default one, or we will save it like a new uh, review. Let's do like that, new review. So and after that you will see here is different uh, your different settings will save. Also here what you can do you can um, switch on or off some different uh, category like for example city link plan area plan and uh, on and on. So it's a really interesting thing, but uh, actually I don't using that because uh, all the settings I'm able to use in my vanilla Revit. So if you want, you can do it here. So up once you will finish that, let's say OK. Now we are under the general settings and what I recommend you to do that. 
the plot quality as you can see this is line print i'm using the print because print is much uh, better the line uh, printing than draft one but draft is more faster image the quality it's 300 uh, dpi it will be pretty enough if you will do the above the 600 it will be a really long time to print and reduce 3d concept dpi to the uh, maybe like 150 or 96 96 uh, dpi it will be also enough also uh, under the advanced you will find the pop-up window with some more uh, more quality settings as you see here the default settings here the pdf file you can for example print from this program not only pdf and for example jpex or gif or png up to you uh, also you will find more more deeper settings as you for example, you can make your JPEG quality more less on higher, or you can change image uh, DPI here too. I will leave it as it is. I know it will change anything, and done. You no need to do anything. For example, uh, the one more uh, settings which you should uh, be attention. This one file per view or sheet. Well, for example, I don't want to make a um, per view per, per, per um, file. I want to combine it in one file. So this why it's not for it's not uh, on. But if you want to make it separate, just make sure this is uh, Windows have the on. Let's go back to the create PDF. Let's create the PDF. Done. So the Revit actually this add-in now we'll start to create our pdf just let's give it the name let's say like test and then if you have the same name here it's append mode you can overwrite it but if not just leave it like as it is uh, again you can save it as pdf or jpeg or something else I will leave like as PDF and let's save it again. So now you will wait. As you can see, 23 uh, sheets will print right now. It will take time. It's not so fast, but it's fast as all solution what we have on the market right now. So let's wait. So we are back, as you can see it's already finished, 23 pages, five, around 5 minutes. So we can say uh, one uh, sheet it's uh, taking like 20 or half minutes, 20 seconds or half minute. So this is not so bad and uh, this is perfect result as you can see if I will uh, go to check all of these views. Uh, this is my problem of the my uh, this my uh, my problem because uh, I didn't crop my view. Anyway, as you can see, all the different views we have in one page, and we don't have any problem with that. So we can print it uh, print it out right now or send it to our client. So doesn't problem. As you can see, this is tool really helping to you to get result. The most ni most nice result. Uh, the size of that as you can see 23 pages only uh, 8 uh, megabytes so this is not so, so much the size and you no need to use any uh, any compressor of PDF to before you will send to your client so this is really plus and last thing how we can create the 3d pdf uh, to create PDF, 3d pdf you should open your 3d view just open your 3d view for example my 3d view it's pretty dirty for example i don't want to see my uh, 3d levels i will just hide it you can just uh, temporarily hide it no need uh, al to always it to do, 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 to do that i will hide my for example uh, floor I mean the my topography and I will get my 3d here so after that just click on 3d PDF and after that say test uh, 3d and just wait this all elements now transferring to the PDF and your client or uh, who well, whatever or will will allow to check your model um, in PDF without any some special 
things or tools. Just wait it and after that I'll back. As you can see we are back, it's really taking the long time, around I think 5 minutes, but doesn't matter. But also you should, um, should understand the PDF will be really slow. As you can see my PDF asking me to allow 3D view in my, uh, in my document, I will give the um, permission for that. And after that it also will taking the time to create this 3D view. After it will done, uh, you will get, you will see your building right here in your screen. So let's wait it. As you can see here is our building. Um, yeah, yeah, you can now send to your client or to your colleagues or maybe to your teacher. Doesn't matter, your building in PDF. As you can see, Bluebeam uh, review will give you really uh, a lot of the possibilities uh, to creating, uh, for example, PDF from the Revit. As you know, this is a really huge problem in Revit. Uh, maybe for one, someone it's not a problem, but who are working with, for example, government or the some clients, it's really a problem because they want the print version of your drawings. Yeah, this nice. Yeah, you can send it, but by digital version, but they want a paper. So this is the problem. Anyway, this blue beam will help you to get uh, your drawings in on the paper in short time. So if you're interested in the blue beam, I'll show you the next time new function of that program. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.